In this video, we're going to learn how to use the Automator plugin for Figma to create a new file with all of the pages that you like to have in your default Figma files, along with the thumbnail you like to use for your files. And it will all happen with a single click in less than two tenths of a second. Before we get started, you need to head over to the community and install two plugins. The first plugin you need to install is Automator. So do a search for Automator. And then you also need to install something called Node Inspector. Once you have Node Inspector and Automator installed, head back to Figma and create a new file. Press Command slash or Control slash or go to your plugins menu and open Automator. And the first thing we're going to do is create a new automation and I want it to live underneath this getting started section. So when I create my new automation, I'm going to give it a name of getting started slash new file. The first thing we want to do when we open up a new Figma file is rename page one to whatever you like to call the first page of your file. It might be cover. It might be something different. In this case, I'm going to rename page one to admin because I like to have an administration file at the top of my Figma page stack. And that's where I put my thumbnail image. To do that, we need to create a new action. So what I'm going to do is use the find action. And what I need to do is configure the find action, not to find all, but to find one. And what we're going to do is find a page in the entire file where the name is page one. Now that this action finds the page, the next thing we need to do is change the name to something different. And to do that, we use the set layer name action. So I'm going to type set layer name and you'll see it pops up here. I'm going to choose that. This is important. We need to drag the set layer name action onto the find action so that it is nested. And what I want to do is set the layer name, which is going to change the, the page from the page name from page one to something different. I want to name mine admin. Okay. Now the admin page is where I'm going to put my cover. So to have a cover, we first need to create a frame that will be the parent of our cover. So the next thing I need to do is add a new action to create frame. So if I search for create, I'll see create frame shows up. I need to drag it as a nest, a nested action for the set layer action we created previously. And to create a cover, I'm going to name this frame cover. The width is going to be 1920 by 960. And I'm going to put this at 200 and 200 for an X and Y coordinate. And I'm going to ignore the fill on this particular frame. Okay. So now what automator will do is rename page one to admin. It will create a frame on the admin page called cover. And now we're ready to insert our thumbnail component. The first thing we need to do is open up the file that contains our thumbnail component. For me, I have it saved in this file called docs and I am using a component set. You can use a component set or just a single component. It doesn't matter. It's going to work the same way. So what we need to do is open up node inspector. And what Node Inspector does is as I click on different objects, it gives me different information about what I'm clicking on. And we need to find the key of the component that we want to insert. If you have a single component, just click on the component. If you're working on a component set, click on the component inside of the component set. And then in the Node Inspector panel, scroll down to the bottom and you should see key and all you need to do is copy that key and then head back over to your file where you have your automator action being created 
And the next thing we want to do is add a new action and we're going to type in insert and we're going to choose insert library component and you've got to drag it to nest it from or nest it into cre the create frame action above it and you'll see that there's an input for key. So now if I run this action, you're going to see that it will rename page one to admin. It'll create a frame on that admin page and it will insert my thumbnail or cover component from the library on the page and it's going to happen faster than you'll even be able to see it so let's hit play to make sure it's working and just like that i've got a file created with an admin page a cover frame and my cover is in there and that's great so i'm going to delete this I'm going to set admin back to page one and we're going to do a few more things. Okay, so now we have our page set with the thumbnail and what I typically do every time I create a new file in Figma after creating the, the thumbnail page is I start adding all of my standard pages. You're going to have a different set of standard pages than I do. I like to create process specific pages in my Figma file and my process always starts with discovery. So I always create a discovery page, a user research page, an information architecture page, a visual design page, an engineering page, and a release page. And it takes a while to do that. And the great thing about Automator is that it can automate it in less than a tenth of a second. It can all be created. So what I'm going to do now is click the plus sign here, and I'm going to type in create. And then you'll see the create page action shows up. And when I click on that, I can just give this the name of the page I want, which is 01 Discovery. And I can hit Control or Command D to duplicate this action and update the second page. User research and so on. You can add as many pages as you want, and it happens so fast that it doesn't really matter how many pages you add here. Okay, so this is really all I need the one downside to this is that the Figma API and Automator cannot currently automatically set a particular frame as the, the thumbnail. So you still have to go in and manually right click on your thumbnail and set it. Uh, but let's, let's run through this action and then see how everything is working. So I'm going to hit the back button here. You'll see that my action new file is nested underneath of get started. And when I click on it, it's going to run the action. It's going to create the admin page with my thumbnail on it. I'm going to right click on this and set as thumbnail. And you'll see that my other pages are also here and I'm ready to get started. This is just scratching at the surface of what Automator can do. If you end up creating something really great, do your best to share it back into the community. The Automator plugin comes with some really great plugins or some really great actions from some incredibly uh, smart people that have already shared what they're making. So once you install Automator, be sure to check out the community section. Uh, join the Discord page where you can join in conversations and get help and get feedback. And uh, of course, share your automations from the Automator plugin.